and another one what's up people Manor here coming to you with a video this time we are going to be looking at a, an obd tool that is a must-have for any car enthusiast and it also makes for a great christmas thanksgiving and even a diwali gift this is the product upc code and these are the model specifications and the voltage that it operates in and while yeah the item is made in china this is a company that is in the us they are the supplier and it's a fully functional obd tool that just plugs into your car and gets the job done while you're supposed to keep it away from water and gasoline because the tool does not have an internal battery uh, you're not going to be running into an issue that oh my god what if the battery runs out and i need to use the obd tool no you just plug it into the car it uses the own board power and boots it up so without further delay let's open it up pretty straightforward uh, a very simple tool and let's get you the experience that you wanted oh yeah the plastic comes out this is how the tool looks like and this is the power connector port fortunately uh, my car does have a engine warning light that is there right now i'm going to show you how to plug it in how to turn it on and how to read the code and then how to erase the code oddly enough this was the same tool that was also showcased on scotty kilmer channel if you don't know who scotty is well you need to follow scotty man he's an amazing youtuber he always gives you the tricks of the trade because he's a mechanic that are absolutely useful and beneficial so make sure to follow his channel now without further delay let me take this tool to my car turn it on and then you can see how exactly it functions and what it can do as you can see the car has a uh, engine warning light and yes it's a nissan sentra uh, sorry scotty i didn't see your channel before i got the car the car is functioning properly but let's see exactly what is wrong with the car why is the engine warning light coming on and the low tire pressure monitoring light as you know all these sensors do have batteries the ones that are for air pressure monitoring they do run out of juice that's normal i check the tires uh, every week in cold weather the seatbelt light is on because I'm parked and I'm not wearing a seatbelt right now. Uh, the car has about 140,000 miles. So I'm going to plug this into the OBD port, which is underneath the steering column. And the Nissan Sentra. On your car, it might be at a different spot. Just, just plug it in, boots right up and it actually comes up with the diagnostic page uh, using the up and down arrows you can move around go to the diagnostic click ok and it's going to read the car information and then it's going to bring up all the information regarding your car arrow down and click on read codes And as I thought, P420, that's a catalytic converter below efficiency. That is a normal code on old cars and it's on bank one. Click OK. Then push the back button to go back. To erase the code, you can actually click on the arrow down and click on erase codes. And click OK to confirm it. And it's telling me to please turn the ignition off and then press please turn the ignition on with engine off so i need to turn off the car with the engine on leave it at the idiot lights as scotty says and then i need to push ok it's processing codes have been cleared just click ok turn the car off Turn it back on. Idiot lights are on right now. And as you can see, the check engine light is gone. It's no longer there. The only thing is uh, the tire pressure monitoring and the seat belt code. And this is our tool. You even have the option of looking at the live data stream. You can also check your O2 sensor 
onboard system monitoring eweb system this is definitely useful if you want to see what vehicle it is or vehicle it is just push the vehicle information click ok and it's going to get the win information and you can get all the details that you want and to exit just keep on pushing the back button and then click ok and if you need to see what exactly the code it was you can go to the DTC area and it can look that up if you go to settings you can set up the language you can set up the unit of measure and it also has a very helpful page along with the hardware and software information and the best part is you can go to the website this device does have a USB port as you can see on the bottom and it allows you to download the latest information regarding this tool and, and as I was saying you can go to the website and download the latest firmware of the tool and update it they do offer lifetime updates so as new iterations new models do come out they till the time they have an OBD2 port they will download the information they will update it to the tool and it's extremely easy to use definitely a big thumbs up for me i think this is a great tool for any car enthusiast any diy or any person that has an older car and they don't want to get ripped i will highly recommend to pick this up check the description for amazon link as always thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and i will see you guys and girls in the next video later people bye